Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. We're standing here at the big portal in Yarnville, about to go through back to the university. We've got to get over to Inspiration Isle and talk to the Tunnel Keeper today to continue our quest, so let's get started. Just a little hop and a skip away from Inspiration Isle. Oop, we're gonna grab this spider. Still can't have too many of those supplies on hand. Here we go across. And we'll be on the lookout because our tunnel keeper friend is not always in the tunnel. <laughs> but we'll just assume that maybe they are today. And that is where we'll look for them. All right, here we go. Oh, let's grab this spotty bug too. Let's see, tunnel keeper, there they are. Oh, they're looking out into the distance. What's going on? <laughs> Any news on fixing that elevator? I think we need an outside expert for this. Someone well-versed in both science and magic. Hmm, that sounds like Dr. Nestor. Great, go talk to him. How are the party preparations coming along? Yeah, the party preparations... We don't have any good ideas yet, to tell you the truth. I think everyone's just too stressed to know how to relax. Yeah, I've heard everyone's gears turning even down here in the tunnels. What gears? Are they creativity gears? Do I have those? It's just an expression. You definitely need to get some rest. <laughs> you can't relax being this wound up. You should try a different approach. Yeah, I'll try talking to Dr. Nestor first. Are you sure you don't have any gears? You've heard it. It's just an expression. Yeah, you don't sound really confident about that. Just tell me if you hear something turning inside me. Oh no. Deal. Alright, time to go talk to Dr. Nestor, which means back through... <laughs> Back across our little glowing bridge over here. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. I'm always getting turned around here. There we go. We haven't been to the upside down telescope in a while. So it'd be nice to see Dr. Nestor again. Let's see, how did we get there? I think we have to go past all these little lenses down here. Here we go. Alright, where are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's grab some salt while we're here, because I did notice we were getting a little low on that. Can we fish here yet? Was there something we needed? Not necessarily. Okay. We're gonna grab these glow nanas. Dr. Nestor must be back here by his house. There he is. Can you fix elevators? Of course you need something. You never come here to hang out. Oh, do you want me to? I know some word games that... Just cut to the chase. <laughs> There's an elevator on Inspiration Isle. It was fueled by creative magic, but now it's broken. That sounds like a piece of cake to fix. Really? Can you help? Why would I? Requests like these is the reason I left my post in the first place. And I was perfectly happy in my cozy cave until you appeared. I found a way to locate Clover. Did that annoying talking cat tell you how? No? Maybe? But I still need your help, Dr. Nestor. We need the exact coordinates to create a stable portal. And who better to calculate them than you, the Great Dean? The great ex-dean? Isn't there a new one on campus? I can't trust that guy with calculations of life or death importance. Please, Dr. Nestor, this is very important. No matter how much I grouch, you won't get off my back, will you? No, sir. Sigh. First, we need more creativity. I'm sure you've got that covered. Next, a firefly lantern to lend a burst of energy. And one other thing. Is it magic? No, it's Colossa Nectar. To grease the elevator? 
To grease my stomach, of course. No problem, I'll get you a Colossa. Great, meet me at the elevator, and don't forget the Colossa. I'll be honest with you, I just can't do it. Such calculations need me at my best. And right now, I'm at moderately annoyed. I'd say that I need a whole new vacation. Sure, I'll send you on the best vacation ever if that's what it takes to save Clover. You are one tenacious yordle, I'll give you that. Deal, I'll make all the calculations needed if you help me get some rest. So now you're a travel agent as well? This is getting ridiculous. Huh? Did you say something? I'm just really excited to finally save Clover, but I'll put a sock in it right now. Tsk, now that's a low blow. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so we need to get a Colossa and a Firefly Lantern to Dr. Nestor. And I'm guessing that we have to have these things in our pocket because I believe we do actually have the things. So let's go check our storage. If we have a Colossa, it'll be somewhere over here. There we go. Oh wow, our pockets are full again. <laughs> oh, can we put any of this away? Do we have room? We have a little bit of room. All right. We might have to put a few things away though. But let's grab a Colossa. And then here is one of our Firefly Lanterns. So we'll grab one of those. And I did clean out the storage just a little bit. I mean our pockets. I cleaned out our pockets just a little bit. Into the storage. Okay, so we have now in our pocket the Firefly Lantern and the Colossa. So we are going back to Inspiration Isle yet again. Why don't we take the portal this time? Oh wait, what is happening? Oh. Oh, is that the first time we've been able to unlock that one? All right, let's go. Oh, we can stabilize it with portal yarn. Cool, let's do that. <laughs> All right, so this one's stabilized. Let's go back to uh, probably the slopes of ocular delight, I'm thinking. Is this where we want it to be? Is this where the problem is? <laughs> Where's Dr. Nestor? Oh, maybe he's not over here. I think he would have been here with Hedwig if he had been. So we'll just zip back through the caves then and go back to the the main spot. The entrance, which is over here. I thought we were getting, getting ahead and <laughs> not quite. All right, let's see if he's up here with these guys. No. All right. <laughs> we're going to have to we're going to have to check the map. There he is. Is that that's a new spot that we haven't unlocked yet? Oh, is that where the Okay, I think I know where he's at. Remember where we went where there was like those three little statues and we couldn't do anything with them yet? I think that's where he is. Okay, let's go there. If we can remember how. <laughs> I think it's through this cave up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've got a little crowd here. All the, all the heads of the creative stuff. Ta-da! Hmm, this has just the right amount of nuttiness. And the texture is... Yeah, thanks. About that elevator, though? Should I leave, or...? So an engineer, a magician, and a gardener walk up to a food stand. Done. And now we can finally meet these elusive creative yordles. Hi, can we pretty please go see the Elders of Creative Magic 2? Of course, the more the merrier. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> okay, so we've got some progress here on Creativity Crisis. Badge complete. We have unlocked a festival card for the Tunnel Keeper and the Beach Goers. Hey! Finally, the beach. Lazy Bones Bay. Hooray. I don't see any creative yordles here. Only sand? Ugh, sand. So irritating. Always gets everywhere. Is that... I don't get it. Is this a beach? Maybe those yordles are creative with their leisure as well. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, you know what doesn't? That guy right over there. Oh, it's Vigar. That's Vigar. Come on, let's question him. 
Okay, well, which way, <laughs> which way do we go? Which way do we go? Here's a glow, Nana. We're gonna grab that first. How do we, wait, how do we get down there? Okay. Um, back up the hill. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, it just didn't go far enough. Um, let's see, where, where did Vigar go? There he is over there. Everybody's down here on the beach. All right, what's going on, guy? Gotcha! Bravo! You finally caught someone who wasn't even running away from you. It's all your fault. The cataclysm. The broken portals. Do you have any idea how much stuff I've had to fix? My best friend is stuck between portals because of you. And you're just chilling at the beach? Yep. That no rest for the wicked stuff, definitely not for me. I prefer my plans to be carried out while I'm chilling. Adds an extra layer of villainy. What is Operation Shampoo? It's too complicated for your minds, so I won't bother explaining it. The only thing you need to know is that it ran like clockwork. Ozzy would never work with you. It didn't even feel like work. We were basically finishing each other's sentences. It's a pity he got sucked into that portal. He was a perfect minion in the making. Tell me how to fix this right now, or you'll regret it. I love non-specific threats. Also, wait, is your friend a talking sock? Boy, you must be really desperate. My plan is irreversible. Dude, are you pitching your failed shampoo idea again? Yeah, don't listen to him. The dude's such a liar, his pants are practically burning. The only thing that's supposed to be on fire are your dance moves, man. Your plan failed. Okay, maybe I embellished a little. My plan didn't exactly work. But if you find out who's responsible for the portal collapsing, tell me. I'd like to shake their hand. So Ozzy is innocent? Nah, that part was true. You really can't count on him, though. Getting sucked up into a portal? That's Minion Mistakes 101. Talking to you is like an exercise in incompetence. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Okay. This can't be happening. Ozzy did work with Vigar? I'm not good at this, but like, don't let this get you down? You don't get it. Ozzy was my idol. For a hundred years, all I ever wanted was to go to one of his parties. Listen, are we doing all of this for Ozzy or for Clover? Clover, of course. See, we're really close to finding her. Don't give up now. This is suspiciously tactful coming from you. I may be a grumpy, contentious, cranky sock, but I'm also your friend. Let's open up that portal and get your friend back. We'll question Ozzy afterwards. Alrighty, I didn't know you felt that way. And you won't hear about it again anytime soon. Now what's the hold up, sock rack? Let's go. <laughs> a sock rack? Really? I was way too sincere for a moment. I needed to balance it out. <laughs> oh, and some more progress. And we unlocked Vigar's festival card. Okay. Let's grab some more salt here. Now, oh, something else is happening. Dear colleagues, how did you come to be the most creative yordles? You're digging way too deep. Yeah, we're just living, man. That's where true creativity comes from. Rise, shine, drink some juice at a cafe, surf till the sun sets, then party at the beach. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Excuse me, did you say party? But where do you get invitations? You don't need invitations to have fun. Just live in the moment, man. Now that's a lifestyle. Wish I could ride some waves, but... Being wrung out afterwards is just not worth it. Pix, we're living in the moment. Go grab your swimsuit. Ah, uh, fine, you sourpuss. I'll surf for the two of us. What's your secret to creativity? Creativity's not about reading books and stuff. It's like you ask for a saucy flatbread, but you don't care what's in it. And that's creative how? Life's kind of like a flatbread, right? Nobody knows what toppings are in your future. You've got to find a way to enjoy them nonetheless. Now that's deep. Any party ideas? A ton of them, but no philosophizing. If you're partying with us, you're partying, not thinking. In fact, don't think at all, just feel. And then we'll see who are the most creative yordles. We're in! Pick, stop thinking right this second. Yes, even about the ice cream. 
By the way, is that a house type back thing? A backpack, yeah. See, you're wasting energy thinking about names and stuff. What you need to do is roll with it, like, yes, and... Yes, and... <laughs> That's the spirit. We need a dance floor, a boogie beam, and lots of smoke. Can you fit all that into your baggy pack? On it. <laughs> okay. All right, we need to talk to Dr. Nestor again. Is he down here on the beach? Yes, he is. Oh. <laughs> Egghead used to be such a doofus. Not as much as you with the ladies. No, don't you dare. Do you enjoy the works of Drizzle the Brizzle? That's the happiest I've seen Dr. Nestor since probably period? That's what good company can do for you. I think poor Egghead still has some feathers behind his ears. Okay, so Dr. Nestor's having fun over here. Uh, and we need to throw a beachgoers bash at Lazy Bones Bay. Skill required beachgoers bash. Oh, we've got a look spot here. Why don't we check that out? Very nice. Look at the sparkling waters. All right, let's jump into our skill tree and find our beachgoers bash. It must be under magic. Let's see, magic conductor, magic auras. Beachgoers bash, there it is. Let's turn it on. And we're gonna turn on this because I see a seashell there and we need to be able to collect some seashells. So let's get started there. And look at that, now we can gather seashells, which means we can make aroma oil, which means we can do another lecture. <laughs> All right, so we need to throw a beachgoers bash. Let's check that out. She did say something about, oh, what did she say? <laughs> the machine that we need. All right, so there must be somewhere around here that we can set down our house, so let's find that. We got a portal over here we can open up. Got that done. Oh, here it is right here. How did I miss that? <laughs> How did I miss that? All right, let's take a look at the beachgoers bash and see what it is we need. Here we go. Ooh, we gotta get 45 orbs for this one. Now, the happiness is already pretty full, so we might actually, mm, we're probably gonna have to do a food stand because we have five required guest cards. So let's start out with the perfect beat to relax on the beach and forget about all life's difficulties. And then some rhythmic lights. How about some soothing lights? I think that'll be good. All right, and how many of these can we do? We can get Vigar here. We can get the beachgoers here. We can get Lulu here. We've got a little bit left. Let's see. We've got 10 and 5. 10 and 5. If we get the tunnel keeper here. Oh, we can't quite <laughs> can't quite do it. Okay. We're going to have to do a food stand. Well, let's get it going. Oh, we'll take this glow, Nana. <laughs> okay, let's gather this up. And we should have... You know what? Maybe we better... <laughs> uh, well, I think we're good on leaf plates and stuff. And we can make them right here if we need to. So let's just, let's just get this thing going. All right, we're going to go with the baked beets, the beet soup, the rainbow egg, and... The baked glow nana. Or what is this one? Glow nana mousse. Let's do that instead. Alright, let's get it started. Because the orders were here. What's first? <laughs> Where is everybody? They all walked by. Okay, we'll start out with whoops, the rainbow egg, because that one's quick and easy. Get a beat going here. 
And a glow nana. Into the masher. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Okay, we need another rainbow egg. I should remember to uh, <laughs> push that up from the bottom to get that. I, I don't think of it. But you can go either way on the menu. So we should take advantage of that for speed's sake. <laughs> Okay, another rainbow egg. See, if I just push up once, we're on the rainbow egg. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, and we need some beet mash. I think that, nope, there should be one more order after that. I'm not, not sure who it's gonna come from because nobody's left here. Oh, maybe this person is gonna want something else. <laughs> Yep, they do. They want a rainbow egg. There we go. Food stand complete. Happiness full. Now we can do our party. That's pretty good. I think this is probably the fastest party we've ever done. Because... Wait, all the... Uh... Yeah, all the requirements were already met. Imagine that. <laughs> we have one that we didn't have to change anything for. All right, who else should we invite? The musicians, the gourmets. Let's invite the musicians. They're, they're a fun crowd. All right, let's go. Party. Party on the beach. Let's get ready to run. <laughs> Fill them up, guys. We have two minutes to get 45 orbs. We've got some coming in already. We're up to six. Dance, dance, dance. There we go. All right, keep them coming, keep them coming. There's some, oops, take, <laughs> take it. Hurry, hurry, we're gonna miss some. Oh, they're coming in hot now. Whew. I'm just gonna grab this closer one. All right, we're up to 30. Oh, who's that little blue guy? He looks kind of like an axolotl. Oh, there's some over here. Ah! <laughs> hey, wait, was that girl's name Sandy? That seems appropriate for a beach. All right, we're up to 41, 44, we need one more. Oh, did we not make it? Oh no, we ran out of time at 40. Oh no, we got 46, okay. We made it, we made it. And we got another jar to stabilize the portal, which is super helpful. Yay, all right, 46 orbs plus 10 bonus orbs. Love it. I'm proud of you guys. You didn't have a single thought. These waves, they're so raw. I, I could, could draw them blindfolded. You know what? For the first time in my life, I think I'm ready to take a vacation. I never would have thought that relaxing could be so productive. Are you having a good time? Good doesn't even begin to cover it. And that's Dr. Nestor talking. Meeting old friends, letting go of all the worries, such a joy. Wow, I've never seen you so happy. I haven't seen myself this happy ever since I started teaching. Maybe it's time to try that again. You actually liked teaching? I loved it. Before that, Dr. Nest Nestor fix this. Dr. Nestor babysit us stuff started to overshadow it. I'm sure everyone on campus would love to see you back as a teacher. And if someone starts to bother you, just send them to me. Ha, huh, are you promising to be my bodyguard? Nope, but I'm really good at helping out with weird tasks. <laughs> About those calculations. Oh right, the portal's stable now. That's it? Didn't you say that it needs time and concentration? Yes, the time to concentrate on rest. Now I can calculate like a... Like a calculationist. Uh, cool. Many thanks. Well, you know what that means. Hold on, Clover. We're almost there. Okay, so now we need to stabilize the portal on Lazy Bones Bay, and we found a portal right over here. So let's go ahead and stabilize. Sound of Waves. Progress. Unlock new festival cards, artists, musicians, and gourmets, beachgoers, and tunnel keeper. 
Didn't we just have those? <laughs> Inspiration Isle began as just a bunch of small rocks. Vandal City's most artistic and passionate yordles lived there. And even though they focused on their art, their inspiration was lacking. In their search for inspiration, the yordles on these scattered, lonely rocks became a tight-knit group. But only outsiders, the yordles from other islands, could give them the inspiration they were looking for. And all their talents finally bloomed with fresh color. But with time, the Yordles got bored, and their ideas became stale and repetitive. And the portal disaster pushed them into an infinite loop of disappointment. But then, our brave hero arrived. They brought new colors to Inspiration Isle and filled the Yordles there with hope. Okay. I can't believe it. All the portals are stabilized now. Nice. Now we can use them without any yarn. Oh, so just like before the catastrophe. I mean, uh, great news. <laughs> All right. Now it says we need to go to Dr. Nestor's hideout. So let's pick up our pack here. And I'm assuming it means the telescope. Did we get all the seashells that we needed here? Oh, you know what? Um, we have them in our pocket too. So I think when we go back, we'll just take the portal. Why don't we do that? Since we don't have to use portal yarn to do it now. All right, and here we are right here at the lecture hall. So let's just check in because I do believe we have in our pockets Oh no, we have to craft the aroma oil, don't we? And that's what we needed the seashells for. Okay, let's craft the aroma oil. We can do that right down here at the bottom of the hill. Should just take a minute. Let's get our crafting carpet out. I think we can do it right here. We should have everything else we need. Um, we do need to turn on an aura, which... Where's the little machine? Okay. There's the little machine, so we're gonna have to move something. This one, and let's see. We'll turn it this way and put it back here. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to uh, grab the right thing if, if they're too layered up. Okay, so now we have our aura going. Let's go ahead and create some aroma oil. Nice. We have plenty of supplies, so we're going to go ahead and make a few. Not only does it get some in our supplies, but it also helps us fill up some orbs. Is there anything else that we need to make right here while we have this aura on? Uh, should we make a couple more groove spinners, maybe? We'll make one more. Well, we'll make two more. <laughs> Let's see what else. I mean, as long as we have it working, we might as well do what... Um, let's see. Should I think we have plenty of explosives right now, and we're good on fireworks. So yeah, that's probably it for that. Okay, so let's go back up here and do this other lecture. And it is the comfort lecture. There we go. We can get rid of that silly little lollipop thing. <laughs> and that means we get another new hat, which is super fun. And it's purple, which is my favorite color. So let's put that on. And you guys, I was wrong because I said before that we had done the storage as high as it could go but we must have unlocked more because we can do more uh, I don't have that stuff in my pocket to do it right now and I think we're okay at the moment but we are gonna keep in mind that that's something we can expand in the future look at us in our cute little purple hat <laughs> I love it all right um, before we go to dr. Nestor's hideout let's actually set the house back down for just a second and go empty our orbs because they're getting close to full again in our cute little yarn bed
All right, we gotta find out what's next. So let's head over to the hideout. I don't know if Dr. Nestor's gonna be back here. <laughs> oh, something's going on. Yumi, you always appear when I need you the most. I've heard it's called, uh, yeah, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and what does that mean? Probably a cat that saves your buns. Oh, <laughs> okay. And here's Yumi. Hello. You're just in time. Here are Clover and Ozzy's coordinates. Are you ready for the rescue mission? I'm ready. Don't worry. That's what friends are for. Yes, Book. You are still best friend number one. Anyway, don't worry. I'll help you. And so will I. Oh, it's Gramps. Gramps, what are you doing here? Don't you remember your own speech? Knitters should always help others. There were so many parties, Gramps, and I found Vigar and Dr. Nestor. Slow down, breathe, now tell me. Dr. Nestor is teaching again. That's great news. Of all yordles, I should know that isolation doesn't help. I'll come visit him since the portals are starting to reopen. I found Vigar. So what did he say? Absolutely nothing of substance. I'm starting to think that the cataclysm might be my fault. Carly, you need to be more confident. Have you ever heard of a self-fulfilling prophecy? It's when you worry about failure so much that you can't help but fail. How can you not think about failure when so much is at stake? Think about your accomplishments instead. All the parties you've gathered, all the yordles you've helped. You can do this. Thanks, Gramps. I'm glad you believe in me even when I don't. The portal is stable, the coordinates are set, and the fish is... <sighs> unfortunately absent. What fish? <laughs> I'm ready, Yumi. Ever since Yarnville was separated from the rest of Bandle City, the knitters there forgot their calling and found new hobbies. Everyone but Gramps. He tried to save the craft of knitting from going extinct. He found new students and taught them everything he knew. Gramps' old school approach did not go well. Soon, the only student left was Ozzy. And he had his own ideas about how to help Bamble City. They got into a fight and Ozzy left. He had his own vision. Knitters are destined to throw parties. But even Yordles can get bored with partying, and Ozzy wasn't ready to admit that Gramps was right. Instead of asking Gramps for help, Ozzy teamed up with Vagar to make things right. As you know, it didn't go well. Ozzy was stuck between portals without any way to fix what he'd done. His only hope was our hero. Clover made Ozzy believe that her friend would do anything to save them. He just hoped that our hero could be a good knitter and a good friend. He just had to hope. And what's happening here? <laughs> We're out in space. And that's how I invented the disco ball. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that one already. Um, that reminds me. Now this one time, Gramps didn't remember to hang out the laundry. We've heard it. We've heard them all, Ozzy. Wait, is that... We're saved! <laughs> Here I come! Carolee! Clover! I'm so glad to see you. How did you get here? Long story. First, a couple of questions for our star yordle. Yeah, I figured as much. Shoot. Why did you help Vagar? I guess we've been saying it wrong this whole time. Whoa, right into the difficult matters. But I guess you do deserve the truth. Lately, Bandel City was getting a lot less fun. Quarrels and bickering out of the blue. Yordles were losing their unity day by day. I've tried to compensate with bigger and bigger parties. And this is where that got us. Once I realized that parties alone were never going to work, I went to Vagar. The plan was to make a shampoo that would shock yordles with electricity. Why didn't you open with this story? 
but it was for a good cause. The common enemy would unite everyone. Anyway, this wasn't a reliable team-up. The plan failed, and now we're here. Was the portal collapse my fault? Your fault? Are you for real? Wait, because you started the party? Of course not. I was Bandle City's number one knitter. I was supposed to keep it together, and I couldn't. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Are you sure? I meant well, honestly, but I've talked enough. A bit too much, probably. It's time to walk the walk. What do you mean? The portal you came through created a thread. Strong enough to pull everyone out. But it's also very thin. Someone must hold it here. I'll do it. Out of the question. This is my mess to clean. Besides, you got here once. I'm sure you can do it again. Dear respectable yordles. Heh, this is the part where I usually joke about Vagar. Please proceed to the portal. Thanks for trusting me. I'll be back soon. Promise. Good luck, Bandel City's number one knitter. So I guess we're leaving Ozzy here. So where was I? Right. This one time, Gramps forgot to hang out his laundry and... That was a great expedition, knitter, except, um, well... Is everything okay? Well, I have a message from Book. The network got really stressed when you took all those yordles through the portal. Unless you stabilize it, it can go dark entirely. Stabilize how? We don't know, but the faster you save Ozzy, the better. Okay, thanks for telling me. Here comes Clover. There you are, Carolee. Everybody is so happy to be back. We should celebrate that with a party at Unity Tree. Yeah, right, a party. Okay. <laughs> well, we've made some more progress on one of our badges. The best party contest. And rescue mission. Unlock new festival card, Clover. So it doesn't show any progress on this one. Maybe we've just opened it up. Okay, we've made progress on saving Clover. And now we need to throw a good neighbor fest at the Unity Tree. That's our only quest at the moment. So why don't we head on up to the Unity Tree and see what we're going to need. Whoops. Hello. <laughs> the Unity Tree, if we can remember how to get there. I believe it's this way. Oh, let's grab that black sand while we're here. So we've saved Clover, but Ozzy is still out there in the void between portals. And we gotta find a way to get him back. So I think the Unity Tree is right up here. I'm starting to learn my way around, <laughs> finally. Alrighty, here we are. Anything around here that we need to look at? Just a broken bridge. I don't think there was anything to collect up here. Okay, so the Unity Tree looks like has a broken bridge probably to all four of the locations. Let's put our backpack down and take a look at our party situation. Good neighbor fest. Ooh, that's gonna require 65 orbs in a minute and 40 seconds. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need, let's see, less music and more beauty in order to set this one. Um, let's see, funky lounge music or laid back tunes. Which one do we think would be better? Let's go for the funky lounge music and the mysterious lights. Now we have a lot of orders, but we don't have much happiness and we are gonna require three guest cards here. So we are gonna have to do a food stand as per usual. And we can't do that here. So we're gonna have to grab our backpack and head back down. <laughs> For a little while. Oh, we probably should have set up our party there too. Um, let's not do it in this spot. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room there. We'll go down here next to the lecture hall. I think we have room, whoops, to do everything we need to do there. Because we've thrown parties down here before. 
student mixers and things. Okay, so actually let's unroll the party again and before we even get started on the food stand and all that drama, uh, we're going to work on customizing. We need to get rid of some music and add some beauty. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to take out this. We're going to take out this. And we're going to take out this. And this. <laughs> we had a lot of music stuff. Okay. So then what do we want to add back in? A confetti cannon. Sounds like a lot of fun. We'll put that in. And then I think maybe a big games table. We didn't need a whole lot more. We need beauty. Where's our beauty? Okay, a bubble cannon would give us some beauty. The big flag strand would give us some. Let's put that in. And see where we're at. We, um, we still have too much music, actually. So we're good on everything else, but we're going to have to... Whoops. We're going to have to take out this, I guess. What else has music? Nothing else. <laughs> so I guess this one item has too much music. Okay, so we'll take that out and then we will replace it with... The fancy phonograph is what we had. Let's see, what else has some music? The big games table. The boogie beam. Let's replace it with the boogie beam. Okay, so now we don't have enough music. Wait a minute. It, we need 10 to 15 music. What we had there should have been okay. All right, hold on. Oops. All right, let's take this back out. And the fancy phonograph should have been okay. Oh, because we need a little bit more music. I was reading that wrong. Okay. So we will put in, we need two, at least two more. We could, we'll put in the boogie beam. We will do that. We'll put it down here. I think that that will make things okay. Yes, okay, all our numbers are in the green now. We have everything set up. We just need to do the food stands so that we can get the happiness. And maybe let's just check into the greenhouse real quick before we start that to make sure that we have enough stuff <laughs> to serve our guests. Oops, I accidentally planted beads, beets again. All right, so we've got some yolk buds. We've got um, glow nanas. We'll, we'll put glow nanas on the menu this time because I think we have kind of a lot of those. Let's just check in with our numbers. Let's see, ooh, see, we're down to 10 beets here. So we need to, we definitely need to put glow nanas on the menu. We have a lot of those. We've got a few Colossus, we've got a few Yoke Buds, and we'll put like one, one beet item on the menu maybe, but we need to get in here and start growing some more beets for sure. Okay. Haven't been keeping on top of that very well. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started now that we know kind of what we need to be serving here. So we don't run out. Um, we'll put this beet recipe, this glow nana recipe, this one's glow nanas, and this one's glow nanas. Okay, so we definitely have the most of glow nanas, so we'll go with that. And hopefully this is going to give us enough happiness to invite the guests that we need to invite. We're starting out with a snap trap. Oh, we have to actually craft it. Hello. Okay. And let's get those glow nanas going. We need one in the oven. We need one in the masher. We need... Oops. Let's 
get those going. We need a beat in the masher. All right, get that served up. We got another beat in the masher. <laughs> one thing at a time. Oh, and another one, yeah. You're gonna use up our beats. We're really gonna have to get, get that growing. Get some growing, be checking in with our garden on a regular basis or we're gonna run out. I think we planted a bunch over on Yarnville too, if I remember right. I think we planted a bunch of beets in Rosalind's garden. So we might need to go back and check on that. We've got one more here. Oh, there's gonna be two more orders actually. So I think our, our wild haired friend here is gonna want one more thing. What's it gonna be? See, we tried to serve up the glow nanas and most of the people chose beets anyway. You guys like beets? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I think that will probably give us enough to invite three guests. Let's get that party unrolled. Now we're gonna have to be quick on this and hope that they fill their stuff quick. <laughs> okay, funky lounge music, mystery lights. Wait, is that, is that the music we wanted? Or do we want the laid back tunes? Good neighbor fest. I think we're gonna stick with the funky lounge music. Okay, so required three cards. Let's invite Clover. Let's invite the arts students. And who else? The vendors? The bandle gunners? We haven't invited them to anything yet. <laughs> let's invite them. Now we can invite more, so let's go ahead because I feel like the more we have here, the faster we'll be able to fill up our stuff. So let's go ahead and invite the vendors too. All right guys, here we go. Good neighbor fest. Let's hope we can get 65 in a minute and a half. Come on, guys. Where is everybody? Get in here. <laughs> Start having fun. Okay. Whoops. No. All right. We, we got to be fast. We got to be fast. This is going to, this is really going to test us. Oof, we're only up to six. We're gonna try to grab some of these bigger ones that we're seeing. As quick as we can. There's a big one. Okay, we're up to 20. How much time we have? Oops. Ah, get over there. <laughs> this is gonna be a me problem. Oh no, oh no. Okay, here's one. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. How are we supposed to do this this fast? Oh my goodness. It's not filling up fast enough. I'm not moving fast enough <laughs> is part of the problem. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We only have 20 seconds left and we're only halfway full. Oh, here's some big ones. 10 seconds. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. Wow, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard, you guys. Oh no, did we get it? No, we only got 54 out of the 65. Oh, so close, okay. And I totally forgot to save before we started. So I'm gonna have to do some work to try that again. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna end the episode right there and I'm gonna work on setting some stuff up <laughs> so that we can try again on the next one. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another part of the adventure. We really had a lot happen today and we discovered a new area, the beach, which was super fun. So guys, we're gonna work on this and throw this party the right way next time we come back on Monday. I appreciate you so much for being here. Please take a moment to click the like button if you would. And if you're enjoying this cozy little adventure with us, do click subscribe so you can be here for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.